Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Jillian Barry. And today we have gorgeous Ava Loves Raw. And we are two almost seven year raw vegans. And we are talking about what has aged us the most on this diet. So let's hop right into it. Be sure to subscribe. This is going to be a good one. Watch till the end and give it a thumbs up. Hey, Ava, how's it going? Hey, hey, hey. How hey. are you? Good. How are you? Awesome. Yeah. So I thought this is a great topic. This is such a popular topic. Everybody's yeah. so curious about aging. Of course, we all want to look good forever and everybody loves this topic. So before we get into what has aged us the most, maybe we talk about what on this lifestyle, which has both changed our lives more than anything, what has been the most anti-aging in your opinion? I think the most anti-aging for me, if we're just going to talk about the food, is probably the greens, the green juices. I think they're just restorative. They are vibing. They are electric. They are just so full of nutrients and energy. I think that's just one of the, my biggest takeaways from the whole thing. And also, I would have to say not being so worried about the whole thing all the time. Mm -hmm. Like I used to be so worried about everything. And you get to the point where you just enjoy the lifestyle and stop microanalyzing everything and obsessing. And I think that's also part of the good vibe. I agree. I think the green juices, like look at Lou Corona, who's 72. Yeah. He looks like he's 45. Mm -hmm. And he's all about the green juice life every day. Yeah. And look, you look great and you're doing the green juices. Yeah, and I'm fanatical about the green juices. Yeah, so I would say it's a big thing and being hydrated. <laughs> so the green juices do that or like, you know, if I eat a lot of watermelon, watermelon juice, hydrating things, Yeah. then it shows in your skin it's more anti-aging. Yeah. Yeah, and there's so much more like good sleep. There's so many things that don't have to do with food. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's not all about the food. People put too much emphasis sometimes on the food. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, it's a holistic lifestyle. It has to do with, like you said, your sleep. Your exercise, your attitude more than anything, your mental state, your positivity, your joy, you, you just radiate when you are a nice person, when you are happy from within. And it's not always all about the food. It's so true. So I'll share too with the viewers in case you guys don't know how old we are. So Ava, I'll let you share how old you are. So I'm 52. 52, yeah. And I'm 41. I'm turning 41 August 23rd. Not sure which date this video will go up. So I might be 40 when this airs or I might be 41. But right now I'm 40 filming it. And let us know in the comments. What do you guys think? How do we look for our age? And let us know below. But what would you think has been the most aging? You know, a lot of people make these videos. They say the vegan diet is the most aging diet on earth. You're going to look like you're 92 three weeks in yeah. and you're going to shrivel up. You're going to be bedridden. And you're going to just look like, like you're literally yeah. 92 about to yeah. end it all. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. So how has that been for you? And what do you think has, have you noticed has aged you the most on this lifestyle? So for sure, when I first started before raw vegan, I was vegan. I think one of the things that aged me the most was all the processed food. And I was one of those vegans that ate a ton of junk vegan food. And that stuff is not, you know, youth promoting by any means. Probably so the worst, yeah. The worst, the worst. It's just worse than anything. So I ate a lot of that. And also, when I first went vegan, I was one of those militant vegans, you know, I know it all vegan. Yeah. And this is the way, this is the only way. And I was just kind of pushy. And my attitude was uh, kind of stunk a little bit, really, to be honest. So my bad attitude <laughs> was definitely aging because being in a bad mood or in a bad state or in a negative state is more aging than anything. That's so true. And so I think that was probably one of the worst things. And also a lot of the times when I first, this was when it was, uh, when I was vegan, when I went raw vegan, I overate a lot too. And I overate a lot of fruit and I overate in general a lot of gourmet. And I think when you overeat and uh, when you just have too, too much, even if it's of a good thing, it's too much, that can be very aging too. So I noticed a lot of, actually, uh, yeah, I aged a lot the first couple of years because I overate a lot. So true. I think that's such a good point. Or I've noticed, I feel like I look older if I'm eating, overeating, like you said, and yeah. eating too close to bedtime. Yeah. So last night that's I ate late one. and I never do that. Yeah. And then my sleep was not nearly as good. Mm. I woke up tired, like yeah. looking older. Yeah. Like it affects us right away, right? Right away. Yeah. And so what about specific foods? So for me, for aging as a vegan, raw vegan, I mean, if I ate the cooked foods, I feel like I would look more aged for mm -hmm. sure. For me personally, mm -hmm. they're dehydrated. I don't look as good. So I like to eat fully raw. But with the raw foods, I feel like cacao is something that's been super aging because yeah. it's such a stimulant. Yeah. It revs me up like a freaking crackhead. Yeah. So I don't sleep. And I'm like wound up. Raw cacao is so powerful. I don't yeah. sleep. And then I look older because I haven't rested. Yeah. And obviously, it's not all about looks. Like, it's about how we feel the most. Yeah. But 
Definitely cacao or dried or dehydrated foods. Yeah. Because they're so hard to digest. You need gallons and gallons of water. And I would say that for sure. What about you? Yeah, I think that dehydrated food too. And at the beginning, I was all about the raw, the gourmet and a lot of dehydrated food as well. So I would make all kinds of things in the dehydrator. And oh my gosh, those things are very constipating for one. <laughs> And so I definitely think that that was not the best way to go. I think you get to the point where you relax more into the lifestyle and then you start paying attention more to your salads and to your fresh food. And I definitely, yeah, the same. A lot of dehydrated food was definitely not a good way to go. Yeah, so true. So yeah, it's like don't overeat. Get good sleep. For mm -hmm. me, it's intermittent fasting. Stop yeah. eating earlier in the day. Yeah. I feel like that's huge anti-aging. Huge. When I started doing that, I stopped eating around 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. And every day I was like really strict with it. Yeah. And then I saw my videographer and she's like, what happened? Like you look, she's like being nice. Like you always look good. But she's like, whoa, I see a big difference. It's a big difference. Mm -hmm. And we can anti-age. Like even if you have wrinkles now, you start eating differently, being healthier. Like those wrinkles can disappear. I yeah. Swear, I swear I notice differences with how I eat. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you're eating hydrating food. And like you say, cooked food is very dehydrating. So if you're eating a lot of hydrating foods, a lot of, I love cucumbers, I love aloe, I love greens, I love um, berries. And I, I just, I love my green juices more than anything. And Me I too. think those are huge. They are. Just be hydrated. I sometimes make just, wa um, not watermelon juice, but I make a lot of cucumber juice, just straight up cucumber juice. Yeah. And I love it. I think it's the best thing. So would you say the vegan or raw vegan diet is more aging in general or less aging on the body than I think it's less aging for sure but I think also a lot of raw vegans are like sun worshipers which True. is you know they're like out in the you know getting all the sun which is great me. Yeah, yeah that was me too and it still is but now I'm a little smarter about it I try not to go out and bake like I used to so yeah so you want to be careful with those things too but generally yeah I would say the raw vegan lifestyle is anti-aging provided you get all the nutrients that you need and yeah. you're not lacking in vitamins and minerals if you're careful not careful but if you give it a little thought and you maybe supplement if you need to i think it can be very anti-aging for sure yeah, me too me too it's been the case like if you saw me in my 20s i looked older like if you see pictures of me me too when i was in my 20s people used to say you look 40 they would tell me that and i would wow. get so mad i remember one time i was at this party on the lake and we were drinking and this guy was like literally telling me I looked 40 and it's not what you want to hear when you're like 27, yeah. 28, right? Yeah. So for me personally, it's been super anti-aging. Yeah. And I can't imagine when I can be well rested. I haven't slept yeah. in five years. My daughter wakes, she, I've breastfed her long term and she's me woken too. up and, and it's a lot. It can be stressful and it can be like pro-aging it can be more aging when yeah. you have little kids yeah definitely so do you feel like but do you feel like in seven years raw you look younger now than when you started like I look at Shane I look at people I look at you like you look better now versus like seven years ago I like, think look so at you, you don't have a wrinkle on your face I think so I think I look better now and than I did then yeah for sure because I was dehydrated I was chronically dehydrated for many years I did not understand how dehydrated I was when I started eating fresh fruits and vegetables, I, uh, yeah, I definitely, my skin quality changed from zero to a hundred so much better. That's what dehydrates you. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, the food that lacks the water content mm -hmm. and yeah. all that, it's a huge difference. And you know what else? Like, I know we don't consume it anymore, but if I still drink alcohol every day, like mm -hmm. I did in my twenties. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The worst. It just like, I think that's got to be the most one of the most aging things there is right alcohol and it really disrupts your sleep I think so too it yeah. just like adds decades on yeah yeah and not sleeping like you're saying if you don't have a good quality deep restful sleep and I used to love staying up late reading and watching tv or whatever and that's a killer now I try to be in bed by 10 and I get my REM sleep and then wake up refreshed and earlier in the day where I used to be a night owl. And mm -hmm. that was just very, probably not the best thing to do either. Mm -hmm. And um, definitely staying up too late, not intermittent fasting, eating late at night. That's super aging because you don't digest your food. You're just digesting as you sleep. It's just not good. Yeah, because your body can't rest. It's just no. focusing on digesting. Digesting. Food. And I always used to do that. I always used to eat Me snacks too. at bedtime, watching movies. Me it's too. Like, that's so bad. To me, that's yeah. one of the worst things. Like, yeah. even if you don't want to go raw or eat yeah. clean, just stop eating earlier in the day. Yeah. Like, yeah. no matter how you want to eat, then that should be like the one thing because yeah. that's really bad for us, I feel like. What time do you eating. stop eating? Well, usually I stop eating three or four. 
but traveling and being here i've been eating later like last night i ate later and i don't mm. feel as good today mm -hmm. like it's a big difference yeah because your body can just rest and focus on sleeping and yeah. repairing yeah absolutely. if it doesn't have to focus on digesting that food yeah right yeah, yeah. absolutely i agree with you 100 percent I stop eating by 5 p.m. and I start eating after my workout in the morning. Mm -hmm. So the nights, if ever that I eat later, like if we go out or we do something socially, even if it's just a small salad, I'm like, it, it is not the same. I don't feel the same. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And I do feel like you do see a lot of raw vegans that look amazing. I know yeah. people like to point out some vegans and raw vegans that like don't look so amazing. Yeah. But like you said, there's the sun worshiping. Yeah. And there's maybe like always doing a stream diet. Like, I don't know. But there's people like you, people like Shane. Mm. Like there's people out there that look like decades younger. Lou Corona, who I'm yeah. interviewing this week. He's yeah. 72. The guy looks like decades younger. Yeah. And it's the hydrating food. It's the enzymes. It's the life force. It's the surrounding yourself with positive people. Yeah. It's the de-stressing, getting a good night's sleep, doing the intermittent fasting. Yeah. And yeah, you're like you said earlier too, like the having anger or like being stressed like that, that'll just age you, Worrying. right? The bitterness or the anger. And mm -hmm. I feel like as we get older, yeah, things happen. Yeah. Shit happens as you get older. Yeah. Most of us go through hardcore experiences, right? Like mm -hmm. traumas and stuff. All of us. And it's very easy. It's almost easier to sway to the side of like blame anger mm -hmm. resentment yeah right? yeah and to like pick yourself up and realize i'm in control of my life i'm mm -hmm. the creator of this mm -hmm. I, I did this for the most part things mm -hmm. happen where you don't deserve it obviously mm -hmm. but and let that go yeah do you have let any advice go. do you do you have any tips for like how we can let it go sometimes i'm still working on it with some things but like i think that's key to like not aging you see some of these bitter angry people and it just shows in their face right yeah and it's, it's not true. a good look we don't want to age like that we want to no. enjoy every decade even yeah after going through things yeah it's hard to let things go though because obviously we feel affronted we feel terrible about things like this so for me what works for me personally is sending love to the person and i know i have a long way to go here because i'm not always perfect obviously but I try to send love to the person and I try to imagine, you know, what they might be going through. Like if we get a hateful comment or someone just saying the wrong thing or whatever, I just try to put myself in their position. Maybe I don't know what they're going through. I don't know what their position is. I don't know what, what's going on in their life. Usually someone insulting you or being mean to you is not about you, it's about them. So I try to remember that and just let it go as much as I can, which is not always doable or sometimes I carry, you know, the pissed off for a couple of days but <laughs> you know you just to the best of your ability you try and send them love and figure out that you know they're going through something and it's not about you mm -hmm. yeah. I love that amazing so true well this has been amazing thanks Yay. for coming on you're a regular we love you on this channel thank you if there's anything you think we missed about this topic like is there anything else you think you want to share or do you think we've covered it all I think one of the things that we spoke about briefly is the overeating. I see a yeah. lot of raw vegans eating way too much. Yeah. And I don't think that's good. I don't care who you are. And if you notice all the raw vegans that we mentioned that are so healthy looking, I think it's because they've come to a balanced lifestyle. They're not big into one thing or the other. They're not fruitarians. They're not no food at all. They're just somewhere like in the middle and they're very balanced in their approach. And that's what I love about these people it's like Cucur Lou Corona, for instance. He's very balanced yeah. and he gets plenty of protein, plant protein. He gets plenty of, you know, he does take enzymes and things like this, but he takes supplements, you know, so you just have to be balanced. And I think that's very important too. Yeah. Great advice. Yeah. Amazing. Thank well, you. Everybody go follow Ava, go subscribe to this channel as well. If you don't already and stay tuned for more great collaborations with Ava and so many other fantastic human beings about spirituality, health, wellness, vegan, raw vegan and just all amazingness. So we love you guys. Subscribe, like this. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.